Okay, I'm pretty excited. I just came for work and I want to make this video. Today, OpenAI released a new model con, uh, called O1 Preview. This is called before the Strawberry Project. Uh, it should be a way smarter model that takes its time to think through the process. And we're going to see if we can actually accomplish real things. So we're going to be testing the 01 from uh, ChatGPT from OpenAI against the cloud 3.5 and we're going to test it in code because that's the you know the most difficult part to write a uh, good code that you can give an instruction and give you a, a working application so i got three tests that i want to show you here so the, here are the three tests we're going to run the first one is create a chatbot that we can uh, chat with using our local llama 3.1 that is running in our computer using Olama. And then we chat with documents. Like for example, you can upload a PDF and you can ask questions and all that running on your local computer on a Gradio application. The second one we're gonna do is a snake game in Python. This is pretty easy, but we're gonna change it a little bit. So at the end of the game, instead of saying game over, we just wanted to say open AI and open a website. Now, the third one is create an application. It's a PyQt application in Python that I can run on my Mac and basically to help me with my finance. So I can put my expenses, my income, and then I can chat with the model and it gives me an interface to chat with the model about my expenses, how much I spend in this, how much money I made, things like that. Okay, so three real world applications that we can use and see if they're gonna how they're gonna perform. So we're just gonna copy paste and these tests we're gonna be copying and pasting things here. We're gonna paste the prompt on both chats and then we're gonna run it on visual code to see how the code is gonna run and we're gonna give it three times, three tries. If on those three tries they cannot perform well, then we're gonna be comparing one one to each other that way. Okay, so we're gonna copy what we wanna build, give it to Claude, and give it to ChatGPT. Let's start. Okay, you can see on the left side automatically Claude has start to writing things. On the right side, you can see that ChatGPT. ChatGPT is actually thinking about the process. So what we need to do, preparing the process, and then creating uh, the steps. So we're gonna copy that from ChatGPT first. We're gonna go create a file, and then we're gonna delete that file, add the code that ChatGPT provide to us, and let's gonna run it. And see if it gives us an error. So we got an error. Let's copy that. Go back, give it the error to ChatGPT. So first try, this is the second try, and then it give me the code again. So this time let's copy the code, and let's just change one thing here. So let's go up, and change Llama 3 for Llama 3.170B because that's the one we're running. Okay, we're gonna copy that and then we're gonna run the model again. I mean, run the code again. And you open the website, so let's go to a website. Okay, here's the Gradio application. Let's see if we can interact with the model. So we're gonna send a hello. Okay, so the model, you see the model reply. Now we can say something else. We can upload a document. Upload status, giving us an error. So we're gonna send that to ChatGPT. So we're gonna say the chat it's working, but the PDF or file upload it's not. Please check and fix it. And then let's copy the final step. So the third time, save it, close it, launch the app again, go back to the terminal. You see here now let's upload the document again. Let's do server manual. PDF and then click upload. We got an error. We're gonna go back to what uh what Claude 3.1, 3.5 said, and here's the document they gave us. So we're gonna copy that code and then we're gonna use it. Delete everything, copy that, and then let's launch uh, the Cloud 3.5. So here we have line chain document loader. We got an issue loading the document, important locker. Let's give that. So let's see the issues we have. Let's give it back to uh, Cloud 3.5. Just gonna copy the code. Okay, apologize for the issue. And he's trying to create a, a new one. Load documents. Okay, let's copy the code. Gonna go here, we're gonna load. This is the, the one that we have from uh, Cloud AI. So document chat, they have two windows. We got one window for general chat and the second window for document chat, pretty good. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna ask something. Hello, sent, we got an error. We don't have a response from the from the Olama, okay? So let's try a document. Let's upload um, ChatGPT and this uh, server. Okay, here we go. Process the document. We got an error. Okay, 
Let's go back to the chat. So two more tries, okay? You're going to say things like uh, the chat part is not working. When I submit a prompt, I got prompt. I got an error. Same with the document. I can look for the document, but nothing. But it do, does not. It does not upload. Please fix. Okay, pretty fast, by the way. Like ChatGPT. So we're gonna copy that. Go back to the code. Let's delete. Add it. Save. Launch it again. All right. Now we go back to the Google Chrome. Okay, it launched the website. And then here, let's try hello again. And I'm sorry about an error. Google processing request model not found. 3.17, try pulling it first, which is wrong because we have 3.17 billion. It's working. Okay, so we're going to give it this. I'm going to go back to Claude. Maybe there. And I specify, yes, the model is installed and is running on my Olama locally. Okay, so it's the third time. Let's see what happened. Copy the code. So let's tell, it's not giving me the entire code. So we're going to say, give me the entire code to copy and paste. I'm gonna copy that. Go back to visual code. Here, let's do, let's launch it again. See what's gonna happen now. Let's go back. So let's select the model. Pretty nice interface, look at this. It shows all the models pre-installed my machine, that's right. So we're gonna select the model. We're gonna select the model. Oh, it loaded. Now let's ask a question. Hello. I like this feature that you can select the model. Mm. It's working. It's great because you can select the model and you can load it. Perfect. So the chat part is working now. Now let's try the document chat. Would they create an, another interface on the side? Pretty good. We're going to open server manual. It's going to process the document. And then Roku will process the document and then the string object and attribute read. Okay. Let's try to copy that and give it one more time because I really like how it's com becoming on Claude. Let's give it that error for the document because the other part is working. So let's give it a fourth try and then we're going to copy that. Okay, last try, okay? Gonna go here, delete, update, close, launch. Perfect. Let's go back here. Okay, we're gonna select the model again. Load the model, good. Hello, to try something, all right? Fast respond, document again. Let's upload, server manual, again. Process, okay, and recover. So, so far on this interaction, on test number one, I would say, there's a thumbs up for Cloud 3.5, and a chat GPT 01 didn't perform as I expected. So Cloud did it right, better than chat GPT here. So let's move on to the next test. And uh, we're gonna look for the second test. The second test is write a snake game in Python and at the end of the game, instead of opening, instead of saying game over, I wanted to say open AI and open automatically open AI website. Copy that, I'm gonna give it the prompt, both. I'm gonna give it a prompt to both of them and it's gonna start writing. So you can see on the left side, right away, Cloud start implementing the setting, I mean the, the code. The GPT, think a little bit more. Let's see. And then we have it from ChatGPT. We're gonna do now, we're gonna copy the code from ChatGPT first to start the testing. So let's go back to Visual Studio. Here, we'll let's create a new file called snake, py, and then let's copy the code. Okay, we're gonna save it, and then we're gonna run Python 3, and this time we're gonna run the snake game. So let's see what happens. Let's see if it opens up. Here we go, we can move it around, we can play with it. Okay, the snake is getting longer and see what happens when we do game over. It said open AI and it has to open a website right now, which it did right now. It did it right here. It opens a website and automatically closed the game. Good. So it completed and it was working fine. Turns out for ChatGPT. Now let's try what Claude did to us. So same thing, we got a code. Let's copy, go back to visual code. Let's delete the ChatGPT one, and then Python 3 snake game. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's growing. That's good. Now let's see what happens. Game over. Open AI. 
and boom, it opened the website as well, right on my side. So I did it pretty fast and it did it right. Okay, so this is a tie for both of them. So second test was a tie. Second test was a tie and the first one clock won. So final test, at least for now, is create an interactive application, a PyQt application that I want to run on my Mac to interact with my expensive categorize them and use Olama as a backend. Okay, so let's copy the prompt, Claude and ChatGPT. Let's see what we get. Okay, you see ChatGPT on the right side is thinking. Claude, start doing it right away. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna start from ChatGPT. We copy the code from it, and then we're gonna run uh, the Pinam program. As you can see here, it opens the app right away. We got transactions, analytics, chatbot. So let's do an amount. Let's see the transaction. Let's say uh, 400. Uh, it's expensive. Description, car, payment, for example. We add that. Good. Now let's do another one. Let's do income. No, let's do uh, twelve hundred uh, income, uh, and then it will be salary. Okay. Add transaction. We get that, and then automatically you can see here description, category, general, and we can change the category for whatever we want. But we're gonna keep it general for now. Then we have analytics. Show monthly expected charts. If we click on that. It gives you the chart. Of course, monthly expect expensive because we don't categorize yet, but at least it give it to us. And then we have a chatbot. Let's see what happened. Something like that. I'm sorry I couldn't connect to the AI service at this time. So the AI service is not working. Sorry I couldn't connect to the AI service. Okay, so that's a fail. This is all we can get. At least it launched the app and you can inst <laughs> insert transactions. Basically, that's it you can do here. Okay, so let's go to cloud now. So we're going to go to cloud. It's going to copy the code that it gave us. Delete all that, copy, launch. Let's see. Okay, he opened the app. That's good. Amount 400. Description, car payment. Pretty similar uh, layout, to be honest. So we're going to call expense at entry. He closed the app. No idea why. Okay, what I sent. Okay, he closed the app, but let's open it up again. Go to visualization, update chart, expense by category is nothing, of course, because we didn't even put anything on it. The AI assistance, let's call hello. Sent, it closed the app. No idea what's happening. So let's copy that. Second try for Claude. Gonna tell AI assistant, hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So error communicating with Olama, client error not found, local host, 11.3 API generate. Let me see if I can't. Maybe I, the problem that I have in here is because I need to run. Um, the Olama server. So let's do Olama host, then Olama serve. Okay, we are serving the model now. Now let's launch the app again. Let's launch the app again. Let's close it first. Okay, let's go to AI. Hello. I'm sorry. So same thing. It's not about that. Okay. Okay, so here we have it. We finalized the three tests that we're running coding on different tasks that we're performing this very small, easy to make applications. And we have a lot of issues with it. So we tried ChatGPT on number one, it fell. It was better on cloud. Number two, they were tied with the snake game. At this point, they were trained with that information. Doing the snake game is pretty easy. Everybody's using that. And then the third one was using uh, creating an application on your computer that you can add your expenses, your income, and then you can chat with it, like for example, in a month. Uh, how much I spend in cars, how much I spend in groceries, and things like that. And it didn't work. But Claude on the third task did it better than ChatGPT, which is the new model, the old one. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I see you on the next one.